So it's been a great experience. So from the beginning, uh, from the planning stages leading up to deployment, to the bed down, sustainment while we're here, and then we've been planning redeployment since we got here. So uh, we're always trying to be a few steps ahead. Uh, it's been mostly smooth, but it's been a great experience, and we're just here uh, happy to support maintenance who's in turn supporting ops. The logistics functions uh, for this BTF consists of supply, log plans, and POL. So uh, log plans first, they are the ones at home station before we even leave. They're coordinating with all the different units, they're coordinating with the MAGCOM, they're coordinating the airlift, uh, they're coordinating with the deployed location, and then whenever we get to the deployed location, they're doing all that in reverse as soon as uh, as soon as bed down happens and everybody's supporting operations here and they're focused on here and now, they're already thinking ahead about how we're going to get back home. And then when it comes to supply, they're in charge of 18 pallets worth of parts and supplies that are going to help support these maintainers. So whenever we have an aircraft needs parts, um, they're going to be there. They're basically in charge of a mobile ware warehouse called a Mobility Readiness Spares Package. And so they're here to order, track, issue, and turn in uh, all the bad parts. So one of their crucial functions while we're here is to order parts that we don't have on hand because they're usually coming from the States and it's gonna take quite a while to get here. So they have to be uh, working with the supply chain operations squadron. They have to be working with home station. They have to be tracking everything to make sure that maintenance knows when it's gonna get here so that they can schedule maintenance for those aircraft and get, get those back in the fight. And then finally, we have our POL, so our fuels. They are working not just to support the B-52s, so they're coordinating with maintenance uh, to, to support the B-52s, but they're also refueling transient aircraft and then uh, the Marines while they're here too. So they have a, a little bit broader mission. So most people here are supporting B-52s, but they're doing a little bit more encompassing type mission. So they're here to support everybody here. So it makes me proud as the, uh, the logistics lead to, to see all the hard work that all of our people are doing behind the scenes. Um, when it comes to supply, maintenance has to work with them all the time, so they interact with them all, quite a bit. Um, but we know that the, the air crew uh, needs the, the support from the maintainers, and we're supporting them. So as MSG, or mission support, we're, we're used to being uh, kind of more behind the scenes. You know, we'll let the air crew and we'll let the maintainers be the tip of the spear, but we're there to get them whatever they need. So whether it's our supply folks, our uh, log planner, or POL, uh, it it's really makes you proud to see all the hard work that they do to, to take care of everybody else so that they can get their mission done. So personally, it's been a great experience coming from Dias and then having to go to Barksdale shortly before departure. Had to spend a little bit of time integrating with the team, meeting uh, some of the, the key players and everything. But Ever since I got involved, whether it was just the logistics or MSG, maintenance or ops, the, the whole team uh, has been incredible. Everybody's been working together uh, extremely well. If our overall mission could be summed up as assure and deter to our allies here in NATO and around the world, our main function is once again going back to that making sure that the maintainers can do what they do so that the air crew can do what they do. So having the B-52 in theater to help build those relationships with our NATO allies. Once again, as, as, as long as we're a little bit further back on, the, on that spear supporting, that's okay with us. We're, we're happy to give the glory to everyone else and support in any way we can. So in the immediate future, we're, you know, we're, we're wrapping up operations here, starting to pack up, get all of our equipment, all of our cargo, all of our supplies back home so that it can uh, support home station operations. But future BTFs in the late summer, fall, and into next year will be the uh, priority to make sure that we have the people who are uh, trained and equipped to go wherever that is in the world to support the next B-52 BTFs.